Hi, this is Heidi Castle here, and today I'm recording for my Homegrown Lifestyle blog. And um, I had just done one before, and what we were talking about is recording stories on your laptop. You can read a story to your grandkids, so even if they're miles away from you, they could p put in the CD when you're reading the story, get the book out, and follow along, and you're reading them a story. And that's pretty cool. I'm using some free software called Audacity, which is what we use to record it. And you can see that here on the previous video that we did. Now I'm going to go ahead and show how to get from having it recorded to getting it onto your CD. Okay, here's where we recorded it. The uh, We kind of ran out of time as I've shown you how to save it. So I'm going to show that part one more time. You go ahead and go to File. Now you're not going to do Save or Save As like I thought you would do. You're going to go to Export. We want to save it as an MP3. So you click on Export, comes up as an MP3, and right here I put it as a story, and you can see it shows up there. I just recorded it. But what you do is you go ahead and give it whatever name that you're going to give it. This is just for your file name. And it pops up this other screen where you can add some metadata. And this is good because it'll show up on your audio CD. Uh, these things show up on other things, and that way you can. Give the track title. Maybe I got several different stories here, so I might put the name of the story there. We can put the author there. If it's got a book that there's several of them, whatever you want to name it. You can even give it a track number, what you re record it. You don't have to fill these in, but you can fill in which ones you want. And I think it's good to at least give it a track number and the title of it. And that way, uh, when people go in there, they can go, oh, I'll find the Year of the Turtle story, and it'll help them find it on the CD. So I think that's pretty good. And once you get the metadata put in, go ahead and click Save. And it was showing you where to save it at, too. It was giving me a choice of where to save it. And I like to save if I'm doing several stories that I'm going to put, because you can fit several on a CD. I like to put them all in one folder together. Once we get them there, then it's time to go ahead and record these onto a CD. What I have here is a folder that I had used as some little critter stories that I had read. And that was just a test there. I don't need to keep that in. I'm going to go ahead and delete it. But you can see these different stories here all together. And we want to put those in there. And to make this very easy, I'm just in, I got the windows and I'm just in the, um, inside the folder right here that has the uh, stories that I want to record. And um, you can't see, but right up here above it, there's one that will say, that's actually showing up the same burn. So I can burn these to a CD, and that's what I'm going to use. Um, but what I'm going to go ahead and do is, um, we're going to go ahead and, Put a CD, a blank audio CD in my laptop here. Okay, I have a blank laptop in there. We got, I mean, a blank CD in my laptop. Uh, so we need something that we're going to be able to um, save. And I'm just going to select all of these. So I got them all selected here. And I'm not sure if this is a blank one or not because we got something trying to show up here. It's supposed to be a blank. Okay, as I did this, as I put the new one in the blank, it came up and said burn an audio CD. And I already have these collected, but this is what I want to do is burn an audio CD. Sometimes this will pop in when I put the blank CD in, and sometimes it doesn't seem to. But anyway, we want, we could do MP3 if you know for sure that whatever they're re listening to on can take the MP3. So you can fit more on a desk. But I know some cars uh, don't have that. And so I'm just doing the audio CDs to make sure that they can um, listen to the stories here. Okay, I'm going to drag these on over here so they can be burned. And they're there. And we'll, up here, this little button that says, let me move it down, start burn, push it. And it goes preparing them and getting ready to record. Then it goes through writing to disk. And when it gets through recording and getting it all burned on there, you see it's almost done. It 